about how you should know what type of graph you're going to use to represent your data. In order to do this, there's a couple terms you need to know. The first of them is the difference between your independent variable and your dependent variable. An independent variable is the variable that you control and manipulate. The dependent variable is the variable you're measuring. It's what you're trying to find out. Typically, your dependent variable depends on your independent variable. Some other terms you need to know are the difference between quantitative and qualitative data. Quantitative data is data that can be represented as numbers. So for example, if I'm measuring someone's height in centimeters, that's numerical, it's quantitative. If I'm measuring a number of students or somebody's mass in kilograms, that's all quantitative data. Qualitative data is data that falls into discrete categories. So for example, if instead of measuring your height numerically, I measure it as tall or short, or I say 6th graders or 7th graders, uh, or the city someone's born, or your favorite color, those are all examples of qualitative data that fall into particular categories. If you know whether your independent variables are quantitative or qualitative, and whether your dependent variables are quantitative or qualitative, you can very easily figure out what type of chart you want to use. If both your independent and dependent variables are quantitative, you're going to use a scatter plot. So this would be a situation when you're comparing two sets of numbers. So for example, maybe time is your independent variable and temperature is your dependent variable. Your temperature depends on the time. Both of those are quantitative, so you'd use a scatter plot to represent that data. Now, if your independent variable is qualitative, say boys versus girls, or uh, tall people versus short people, and you have a quantitative dependent variable, so you're measuring something numerically about those categories, then you'd use a bar graph. So if I'm measuring the heights of boys versus girls, I'd use a bar graph to represent that data. Now, if the data you're recording is qualitative, it falls into categories, typically, typically you'll want to use a pie chart to represent that. So if I'm asking what everyone's favorite color is, I might represent that data as a pie chart.